Hey guys, today I want to talk about how much do Magic the Gathering pros make and there was an article, a recent article, I forgot what it was but I will hopefully have the link below in a little summary so you can go to the link if it's interesting to you about uh, Mike Singletary, I think that's like a football player, <laughs> I don't know if that's the name, oh Mike Sigaris. Uh, Mike Sigaris is probably one of, in his opinion, uh, one of the top 10 Magic players. Uh, he makes about fifty to sixty thousand dollars a year playing Magic, at the highest level, and that's actually pretty surprising to me because I feel like some YouTube channels make more than that, uh, just being YouTube channels, and it's not, you know, it's actually quite interesting that um, a professional Magic player. First of all, it's less than I expected, but still not as much as I think should be paid to these people who promote the game very well. So eSports, uh, I follow this guy called Doublelift, a uh, big fan of League of Legends. I'm a big, uh, I guess I'm a T TMS fan now. I used to be CLG, uh, I follow Doublelift and uh, Travis. So they had a really cool story where uh, Doublelift leaves home and he has a Chinese mom and Chinese mom abandons Doublelift because he wants to play uh, video games. And he goes, posts is on Reddit and he meets Travis. He has no money, no car, and Travis like helps him, and that's why I follow, uh, why I'm following team TSM because they he transferred teams. So anyway, that's a, that's a different story, but you have people promoting your brand, and when we have League of Legends, they get paid very well. Uh, they get paid. Some of them get paid close to six figures. Uh, they make a lot more money streaming. Uh, they actually stream the game they play, not like some Magic players like Brian Kibler co stream Hearthstone because that's more popular and that generates more revenue than Magic Online. And that's not just Brian Kipler, that's the whole batch of pro, Magic Pros. But anyway, you have these people who are promoting your brand, promoting the lifestyle, if you will, of traveling to GPs, traveling to events, and they make about $60,000 a year, which is not bad. So I felt that they were making a lot less uh, so they deserve more. So let me just say this outright. They deserve more. I mean, they are the face of this game. And they have competed. And 60000 I believe, includes the contest winnings, which I think that year he won like $15,000. Um, but then there's sponsorships, there's streaming, there's branding, there's all types of stuff, right? I think that they should be paid more. Uh, but at the same time, I'm pretty impressed by what they are currently pay because I wouldn't have predicted it would have been $60,000. Now, do you guys in the comments below, do you feel like you should be paid more? Is 60000 about right? But again, this is the top level. So in his article, he mentions that there's like five or 10 players like him. They probably, I think Brian Kibler gets paid probably more than he does, more than 60000 due to his other business ventures, which are kind of magic related, Ascension and things of that nature. Uh, play mat selling and branding and just overall uh, being more of a iconic figure if you will uh, being the iconic figure of magic maybe you can say Patrick Shapin there's, there's a f lots of really great names but you can make you can make a decent living playing Magic the Gathering professionally and that's quite incredible now in the next five years where would that be? Uh, will there be more professional Magic players? Will there be less? Will they get paid more? Will they get paid less? I think it depends on, it all depends on one factor that we've never, dis we really haven't discussed this in probably over six months, the Magic movie. So the Magic movie should increase, drastically increase the amount of people who are looking to play Magic, right? I mean, that's the concept. I would assume if Wizards of the Coast were smart, they would give these intro packs to everyone who purchased a Magic movie, just like the Pokemon cards. I mean, they did such a great job. You get your Pokemon promo, and there's different promos, so you gotta go see the movie X amount of times, and that's that. Uh, and you, you got, I think the first Pokemon movie, I think you could get like the Pikachu promo was really cool, and there's like different ones. I know the second Pokemon movie, there was the Three legendary birds, and I can never get Articuno. I don't know why, but like this, they never had Articuno. I'm like, hey, do you have Articuno? Okay, I'll go to this movie. Do you have Articuno? No. A anyway, so if they were smart, they would give everyone like you know a special promotional card, which cost them nothing to give, which Pokemon has already proven the model, 
and that's that. And they would go to see the movie, they would be given a card or a trial deck, and then they would do it. And then all it's the tide that rises that raises all the boats, right? Everyone is gonna benefit who has any interest in branding themselves related to magic. And I think that's awesome. Uh, that would be, in my opinion, uh, what these people are what you really need to get pushed to a level where they're being paid like a esports or a League of Legends. Uh, will they ever be paid as much as Double Lift? No, they will never be paid as much as Double Lift or uh, Huni or any of those League of Legends because they have such the, the fan base is just. 10, 20, maybe a hundred times bigger than it is Magic Gathering, especially when you're talking about Magic Online versus League of Legends. I mean, you're talking about factors, you know, of 1,000 times, right? Like a Le any League of Legends streamer can pretty much get as much as the GP uh, when we're just streams GP Houston or something. And that's just a regular streamer. But when you have like the uh, seasons or the splits, uh, I think we're in winter split right now, you have just so many people on Twitch. So, I mean, even on its best day, like Magic can probably get 5% of a League of Legends worst day mats. Like two, like Digitech and like the two worst teams in the uh, split competing against each other would and its worst day have like a hundred times more than any magic stream even one by wizards of the coast and that's just the reality of it that's just the reality the more fans you have the more money there is and the more you can support this pro lifestyle but good on them you know sixty thousand is uh, definitely something really that they should be proud of and the same with anyone on youtube they're making a living on youtube doing magic the gathering that's only going to benefit everyone that's going to raise all the boats this is a po very poor analogy. I'm only using it because uh, this was a uh, kind of an argument, if you will, that some of the YouTubers, the larger YouTubers had once upon a time. And they were like, hey, I'm gonna raise all the boats. Now nah, I'm gonna, okay. <laughs> that, that Facebook group is long gone and everyone left, but it was an interesting argument to make at the same time. Anyway, that's it. Bye guys.